now for Fins on Four, and what a welcome sight for football fans. Dolphins mini camp got underway today. It's the first under new head coach Brian Flores. CBS 4's Mike Cuno has more from Dolphins camp. This enters the phase that I'm that, that, that I'm used to and, and, and I enjoy the most. I'm passionate about coaching football. It's just a voluntary mini camp, but a new Dolphins head coach Brian Flores says he's back in his element. You know, we're not going to conquer the world over these next three days, but this is a teaching camp. Uh, we talked about that this morning with the players. Um, again, you know, it's fundamentals, it's technique, it's, you know, our basic information, our basic installation. However, not here to learn the installation, Pro Bowl safety Rashad Jones. While this is optional, his absence was noticed from the defensive backs group. You know, he's obviously rehabbing the shoulder, um, and he's training. I mean, he's, he's been here. He looks good. Um, he's been in all the meetings. Coach Flores gave the traditional line about coaching the guys who are here, but that didn't stop reporters from asking if Jones had requested a trade. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this. My conversations with our players, I'm going to keep them private, um, and I'm going to leave it right there. With fans now on Rashad Watch, the focus shifts to QB and journeyman Ryan Fitzpatrick, who is echoing his coach about taking things slow. Like I said, walking before we can run. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now on both sides of the ball where we're, we're really focused and um, trying to learn how to do our jobs the best way we can. Now the QB has gotten some heat since joining the Finns for coming into camp slightly overweight, but hey, he's got a good excuse. I have seven kids. Uh, so in January, we have three birthdays. So we've got, you know, a family birthday party, which includes cake. And then we've got a friend's birthday party, which includes cake. So now that the birthdays are behind me, and I think I'm going to try to go from peak off-season form, uh, maybe down to peak in-season form, I'll be okay. Players aren't the only ones learning a new system out here. Head coach Brian Flores says there's a bit of a learning curve for him as well. Remember, he's got to attend more player meetings than he ever has before, not to mention preparing for the upcoming draft. And Davey Mike Cunha, CBS4 Sports.